Hey what's going on guys welcome back to the VFX showdown so in this tutorial we're going to take a look how to composite 360 shot something like this using a script I'm not using any plugins I'm just using a script and it's very powerful and very useful so as you can see this is the aerial shot recorded with drone as you can see and by the way this is the thailand i got this footage i don't know i give you the link in the video description so you can check that out so what i want to do here so as you can see this area i want to place a 3d text using element 3d so this is the very nice composition technique so let me show you the script so as you can see if you go to the ae scripts and ae plugins scripts called canvas 360 pro and this is very powerful and very useful let's see how we can compose it in 360 in after effects so i have this footage and i'm simply no i'm not making any composition what i'm gonna do go to the window once you install the script go to the window and as you can see 360 pro and by the way this is the trial version i have not purchased yet so i will be i will do later but i want to show you how you can easily add 3d text and 3d object using element 3d right inside of after effect okay so this is the trial let's hit ok and the, there are some limitations 30 days trial and i will and other things so i don't want to purchase right now so let's hit no and close this window and as you can see this is your canvas interface and first you can see the default is project is selected so let's rename the project i want i'm gonna call this 360 okay simply 360 and composition of course you need to select this footage so this one and it will aut automatically capture the frame rate and the duration okay and the echo rectangular because of this echo rectangular 360 stuff and and just simply create and it will create a composition and a camera for you sorry for the background noise okay so let's move on so as you can see we have a composition and a camera called working camera let me move this side and if i move this camera using the orbit camera tool it shows the 2d layer that's okay hit okay and now you can see let me fit now you can see we now move in 360 okay let's go where i want to place an object right here as you can see now i play let me decrease the resolution because it's 360 shot so that's why it's take a time to render so i want a 3d text right here so let's move something like this okay so this is great something like that. okay so i want this camera angle so let's go to the full res let's fit and move and select the canvas 360 and once we make a project then go into the 360 tech tab and click on that and 360 media it's automatically selected that, that footage and echo rectangular also and the point of view is default right now i'm seeing and we can create another one as you can see we only add at least two so let's add this guy mm, let's call 362 if i do that it will add another but i don't want i just delete because and delete here so this is my stuff okay if i go back okay 
so i choose this camera angle and let's scroll so as you can see this is okay and then i need to camera tag this so how i do that first this is my camera angle and this is the frame i like okay so let's go to the pov the point of view so this is the meaning of that pov okay let me zoom first okay and then i need to create a new pov so this is the default one if i double click on the default pov it will take the default point of view so this is the default point of view and if i track if i track now it will track this frame but i don't want this frame i want this area let me move again right here so i need to create a new pov so just name a new pov i name is side and just simply save so it will add a new pov as you can see now we have two so because of this is a trial version we can only add two so as you can see the side one 1920 by 1080p okay and then if i double click on the front default one it will jump the front and if i double click on the side one it will show the side that's pretty good and now i can track this frame so usually we take select this guy and add a camera tracker but we're not going to do that we track this in using the canon 360 script so as you can see pov and then we have a tracking so click on the tracking and as you can see it will track using the after effect 3d camera tracker so it will it is selected 360 path as you can see this one and the point of view i need the side view because i want this area to be track and then simply hit track camera and it will track using 3d camera tracker and the specific setting for this footage and just wait for a second okay so as you can see tracking is done and the track point so let's select someone so let's grab these and right click create solid and camera so it will track so let's grab some more points oh, maybe this create null so we have a solid and some nulls and a camera and 3d camera so what i want to do now is select camera and all the tracking points and as you can see in canvas section we track at the after effect camera tracker and then we need to inject this tracking data to this working camera so as you can see selected layer it show how to add the tracking information in this camera so select camera and points so and select camera and all the points and the point of view side because this is the side view and simply add tracking data and as you can see the trial limitations so it will only do this in 10 seconds so that's okay we can go into the 10 second mark and press n and right click trim count to work area and we're good to go so as you can see now my working camera is have all the tracking information so if i show you the information as you can see there is no keyframe so don't worry and i can still move around and the scene is track it perfectly so as you can see a solid solid is sticking to the ground doesn't matter where i go so as you can see it will track the whole time so this is pretty nice and if i want to go to the side view go to the pv 
POV and just double click on the side and it jump back to the side view so let's create a solid select the composition press Y and let's wait let's uh, make a text first and see how this track is doing so let me type hello simply simply word and move this anchor point move the anchor point to the bottom okay and make a 3d so it's gone so let's select the solid press p and select the text press p copy and paste the position data and let's scale this guy and let's rotate the orientation something like this maybe 100 and also the x g i think y i don't know which direction he is going i want to look right like that okay and let's move like here and let's change the blending mode maybe overlay let's color dodge multiply you know soft light okay so this will blend and let's hide the solid and let's play this back and as you can see it will track perfectly and we you can see some parallax and uh, length distortion because this is a 360 shot as you can see it doesn't matter where i go it will track whole time so this is a very nice script for compositing 360 shot so as you can see pretty good and let's see if i want a text behind some hair let me full res let's see i want a text right here so i need to track this frame as well so the same way let's align my camera where i want to track okay and increase this and let's go to the pov and let's name this guy front pov okay and let's save and it will save this pov so as you can see this is my side view this is my front pov and go to the tracking and we need to do this again the front and track camera and it will track and give me the information and then i can put a 3d element so i'm not going to do that again go to the pov front pov delete okay and double click on the side one so we have the side let's make this a 3d text so undo 2d stuff delete this and add on new text and let's call this e3d for element yes scale this text up move the anchor point to the middle and let's make a solid for element and let's add the element i'm using the fx console so don't worry oh my goodness lag okay so it's back come on okay so it is back okay so let me add this in a custom layer move this side custom text and mask and let's select the etd two. this is the text okay move this underneath the camera and go to the scene setup hopefully this will open come on element okay so let's extrude the text and we have nice 3d text 
ready to go so what i want to do go to the preset bevels let me apply one of these presets so let's this is black one actually good i think so so let okay just keep that one and hit ok so now we have a 3d text so you can't see here let's go to the group one and create a null so we can easily control the object okay so i have this solid so let's press p and p from the null copy and paste the position data so my text is right on the ground so let's scale this guy maybe 400 this is not enough let's increase more more and more oh this is too much okay something like that and the orientation i need to mess up the orientation maybe 90 120 1 115 1 1 2 okay and then let's rotate this like that so it's laying on the ground looks pretty good actually dope okay so now i grab my camera and move like that and as you can see this will perfectly track and as you can see the lens distortion also apply in the object so double click on the side one go to the side and let's make this realistic okay so let's select the element 3d go to the, the render setting the physical environment and let's move this side and the over override layer select this 360 footage so as you can see now we have a nice 360 reflection environment so let's decrease the resolution and show the beaches so we can see the reflection okay so this is pretty zoom so i need to rotate to find a spot where is actually sitting on the ground i think this area yeah this one maybe this why okay let's have the pg and see the full res fit and height is solid and go inside the render setting the ambient occlusion enable hopefully this will do something no i don't need ambient occlusion okay so we'll go to the output and enhance sampling go to the scene setup again just increase if i show you the pg now it will show you the override pg so this this is my frame okay so let's see the black one which one is the black sitting on the front this guy and let me increase the reflection maybe 80 let 70 and hit okay okay so now this is pretty good actually great let me add plane and rotate the same like that and move back so this is just for matte shadows so let me show you what i mean open up and select material go to the advanced setting and enable the matte shadow nothing happened i need to go to the render setting the ambient occlusion and if i enable now you can see a shadow as you can see and if i change this to ray trace you will see i don't know why, why this happened so let's see the ssao 
software base ambient occlusion and yeah, this is the actual name side view okay let move this one and mess up with the ambient occlusion 0.5 and let's make this scene realistic so as you can see the footage and the text doesn't looks same as you can see i want this one also blurry like that so let's add first add a noise so i'm gonna use add grain by the way this is the fx console from video copilot link in the video description so add that grain and preview final so as you can see it will add a grain so let's go to the which one colorize and the monochromatic enable so as you can see we can't so we don't want these colors as you can see so it will hide and go into the softness 0.5 Oh, this is too much point eight okay close and the animation i want very low maybe point one and let's add a blur oh sorry i just hit my camera i'm using the fast blur okay increase maybe two pixel so now as you can see it is matching but not but not exactly but to the top let me if i do 1.5 blur i think three i think three is great now let me see in my final shot let's add a one pixel blur and if i double click on the add grain and go to the compositing option and what i want to do is just 50 60 percent is noise oh which one I did? I think this is element layer. So add grain, compositing option, add that, and effect opacity maybe 60%. So now it's doing great job. So as you can see, 60%, maybe 50%. Okay, 50% looks good. Close all, zoom back and now i can see my very great 360 compositing with element 3d yeah it is slow because the footage is so large and of course we need to roto this guy and if you want to roto you cannot do this with 360 so you want to roto you can buy or get a trial version they call the mocha vr which is for 360 rotoscoping and camera tracking etc so as you can see the shot is looking great okay so let me change this to preview because it's taking so much time to render now okay so let me hide this too because it take render time more than enough so as you can see okay so this is my composite shot in 360 okay so now i want to export this so how to do that so you can do this with canvas 360 as you can see if i change the camera angle it will the reflection also change based on the this 360 footage because we use it as an environment map here so this is also great news as you see change camera again come on so as you can see the reflection change everything is changed and you happy so double click on the side one and let's uh, export this 360 so go to the project in canon 360 and as you can see output in 360 so default point of view i need to like the side view so if i do that the this frame is in the middle but i don't want this in middle i want the front default one in middle so this guy 
so let's go to the project default cubic map and i don't want 4k because it's taking so much time and kill my pc as well so i'm gonna select it 2k and just hit update and as you can see it's taking some calculation and make this cubic map so as you can see this is my output in 360 so as you can see this is my 3d text and as you can see this is pretty low quality so that's why i changed the element render mode in preview so that's why this is happen so as you can see now i scroll take time to render because as i said this is so as you can see now pretty good as you can see now we can easily composite 3d element in our 360 footage using canvas 360 and of course the element 3d so as you can see please follow along and then i can just go ahead and go to the composition if i click let me go to the if i go to the composition add to the render queue oh one thing i i'm not telling you about the pvi so what is the pvi pvi is taking a still image of your frame in 360 so not all 360 just a point of view the still frame and you can use it i don't know how to use it but this is not the important the important thing is the tracking and the 360 stuff so let's export this guy so go to the composition add to the render, render queue hopefully and let's change this to quick time so as you can see getting mismatch because this is transparency so let me change this to png rgb plus alpha hit ok and save where you want and just simply save and then hit render i already render the one text but this is not the actual stuff let me show you this guy i make a composition for this so as you can see this is some um, simple text as you can see canvas 360 and here as you can see the back side let's see so we select this guy new this one create print x come on delete this footage and and now you can see what i did just adding a simple text and the solid and in the back i did this text okay and go to the project cubic default okay update and it will look like this so this is a pretty great and very powerful script for doing this kind of 3d stuff in after effect without any plugins so i really like the canvas 360 i highly recommended to buy yeah i am still want to buy this but i just show you the trial version what you can do and then you can think thinking about to buying and doing your 360 compositing so i really like this so you can do a multiple scene tracks so you can try this area and this area and just you have only one camera to look around and like that canvas canvas 360 so thank you so much for watching guys hope, hope you like this video and make sure to check out the video description for all that links and all that good stuff 
and make sure subscribe to our channel to see more content like this so as always uh, thank you for watching and we will see you in a way next one have a great day